Well, this is interesting. Um, I've pretty much decided that Juliana has too much work to be done on her. Um, it's just just a fact. She's been allowed to, to deteriorate in the past few years and I just don't want to spend the whole winter fixing things and it's going to cost a lot. And then I found this one. Um, this boat is beautiful. It's, um, it's about the same size. It's glass fiber instead of steel, which is just one of those things. It's not necessarily good or bad, but I'll show you around. Um, and I think I'm gonna make an offer on this boat. I mean, it's got massive area right here for, uh, for lounging and solar and all that good stuff. Coming back here. Again, you could have um, solar panels built across the back here, which is, uh, there's plenty of space and little little diving platform down there. Uh, nice uh, deck up here, little steering area, which gives you a really nice view over everything. Hang on. So that's, that's a nice, nice vantage point. And these, these actually um, fold down if you need to go under bridges and things. So it's nice and spacious up here. It's a slightly odd layout, which I like. This is your sort of saloon area. It's got two engines. I'm told everything works on this. And there's more up there. Then you go down here and you have a little dinette area, which would be like a, a little working area. I don't really like this plastic. I think this would have to go. Um, You got your kitchen here. You've got a toilet here, shower, which is nice. You get your front cabin here, which is like two singles, but they're both big enough to sleep a couple if you had to. Um, but it's a nice big spacious cabin, which I like. Going back out here, there's two engines down there. Uh, they're not massive. I don't want a boat with massive engines because that's just, I don't need to go that fast. Lots of space. I like that a lot. And then here is unusual because you've got this sort of angled double bed, but it's actually really cozy. I like this, this design a lot. Again, some of this needs replacing and fixing up a little bit, but... And then this room is a toilet. It's a, a, a head, but I think I would just use this for storage. I don't need two toilets on board. And down there is your access to your engines. Wardrobe space. This is a really, really nice boat, and one of the one of the good things about it is it's it's old, but it's not historic old. It's just eighties. Uh, I can't remember what year it is now. Early eighties, um, but it means that it's not going to really go down in price after you buy it, so long as you keep it clean and you keep the the motors serviced. It's going to hold its value, um, which I, I do like because I might want to upgrade, I might want to change, but this would do nicely. Very happy about this boat. This one is 49,000, but they'd probably take a little bit less. But nice boat. Needs a little bit of, of 
tweaking, but hey, that's fun. Interesting.